13, 14 people in already. Hi everybody, it's Jen and Lindsay back with another semi-pro stenciling video. We're super excited to be back. It's Thursday, it's one o'clock, you know what that means. We're here to do another fun project. We are gonna be working on one of our newer stencils today and it's a spring one because it's springtime. I don't know about you, I'm hoping for some warmer weather. It is cold here even though it is springtime, it is freezing. In Ohio. It's snowing. It, yeah, we did have snow flurries this morning and we're, it set up to an inch of snow today. It was today. snowing when I was back in the When we came back in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, we're here. So if you're here and joining us for the first time, thank you for joining us. If you're a returning person watching us again, thank you for coming back. We appreciate you guys watching us because we are having a lot of fun with these stenciling videos. If you have any questions while we're um, doing our video, please feel free to ask them. Lindsay is going to be here. She's answering questions. She's here with me and she'll answer all of your questions. She's going to put links into all the stuff that we're using today as well. So it's super going to going to be super easy for you to find the products. Um, everything that we're using today can be found at cdwood.com or if you want just the stencil and brushes, those can also be found at cdstencil.com. So make sure you check both of our websites. We have sales that go on both sites each week. So there's always some awesome deals out there that you guys can grab and get some really cool stuff. All right, Lindsay, do we have anybody joining us? Hey, let us know if you're here. Where are you from? What you're at? Uh, I believe this is Linda Camp. It says LD Camp. Okay. Hi, Hi. Linda. It's uh, San Diego. She's from San Diego. Oh, I bet it's warm in San Diego. I really want to go there where it's warm. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get started in just a few minutes, but let us know if you're here, what's going on. Again, we're going to be working on a fun spring project. I have some awesome bright colors we're going to be working with again today. Um, the carrot video that we did last time turned out really cute with the color, so we're going to stick with that again this time and see if I can do it again. <laughs> Rosie just came in. Hi, Rosie. She was here last week, I believe. I believe so, yeah. Yes. Okay. Thanks for joining us, guys. Really, I'm super excited when you guys jump on and watch us um, talk about random stuff because we do totally talk about random stuff while we're here stenciling because that's what Lindsay and I do all day when we're working. We just random. talk about the most random stuff. Um, you you want to know a fun fact about Lindsay and I? Oh, no. We listen to um, true crime podcasts while we're at work when Chris and John aren't here. Well, when John's here, we do because he's not in the office. But when Chris isn't here, we listen to true crime. So that's what she and I do all day in the office while we're working. We're over there typing on our computers or painting or some kind of project. And we're listening to true crime. Do you like true crime? I wanted to and we tell do me. commentary. We do. We make our own, like, we take, we make our own suggestions about what's happening. And, like, we give our own spin. We even do sound effects sometimes. So you just never know what you're going to yeah. get if you walk in the office when we're in there. So Mickey is here Hi, from Mickey. Georgia. Thank you for watching. Beth from Northern California. Beth. Sandy McTeer. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for joining in. She says she loves true crime. Oh, Sandy, you're my girl. Me too, girl. Me too. The husband always did it. Just remember that. <laughs> We're into one, what's it called? Murder with my husband. Mur yeah, That's murder with my husband. Right now. He's yeah. really good though. They're really good though. It's about this. So this is so random. It's this woman who loves true crime and her husband doesn't like it at all. Hates but it. yeah, he's never heard of any of like, doesn't know anything about it, doesn't know anything about the stories. And she tells the story to get his reaction. And it's really, it's really good. We actually really like it. And his reactions are the best. His reactions are really good. And she introduces him. She's like, and he's the husband. And, and I'm, I'm the, the husband. husband. We say it every single time. <laughs> okay. We're um, we ready to get started, Lou? Yeah, we're ready to get started. Yeah, we'll flip oh, our camera. We got Letitia here from Hi, Letitia. Warm Texas for now. Oh, Warm Texas. I wouldn't be in Warm Texas because it's cold here today. 
All right, All right. we're going to switch our cameras. Camera. We'll just keep chatting, but we're going to switch the cameras and we'll start talking about the project and then we'll just talk about random stuff as we go. Okay, we, See, you Sandy never know. said her hubby's a Hallmark watcher. I love Hallmark. I like Hallmark too. I do love I do love a good Hallmark movie as well. So fun, we're all over the place. Fun fact, my 82-year-old father loves Hallmark. He does. absolutely loves it. It's, I know. It cracks me up, but he loves it. I love it too. So. Okay, guys, this is the product or the stencil that we're going to be working on today, and it's our Hello Spring Dot Stencil. This is what it's going to look like when it comes to you. It's our bigger size, so it doesn't have that black backer, but it does have like a little business card in here that's got all the information, how to order, where to order, if you can't remember what it is. Um, we touched on this last time, but I did want to bring this up again. All of our stencils are engraved down here in the bottom. So it has the year that the stencil was created. So this one is new, so it's 2024. Beside it, it says CD stencils. And beside that, there's a number and it says 09 20081. 20081 is the number for the stencil. We use, um, I always use the product um, template or when it comes into the office, this is the one that comes in. Lindsay writes the number on it. So you see that online um, just because we have it and we don't like to waste around here. So we are all about reduce, reuse and recycle. And that's why I have that on mine, but yours is not going to have that. For the interest of time, I went ahead and base coated my 12 inch round um, door hanger with, well, this is just a regular circle, but it's got two hang holes. I'm thinking this could be a great door hanger. This will look really cute on a, um, uh, like a plate stand on your mantle as well. Um, it's gonna be super fun, dots, all that kind of stuff. Hold on one second, I think I'm a little crooked. I tried guys to get this on here straight before we went live, but I think I'm just a smidge crooked. So let me just even this up a little bit. Um, and then we are gonna get started. I did use, I have some really kind of exciting news for you guys. Um, you know how I have a love-hate relationship for white paint, right? Okay, so we both, do. we both do. So I did base coat this one, but we're testing out a new product right now that we are probably most likely definitely percent sure almost a hundred percent definite we're going to pick up and it's a it new is to us product. yeah a new to us product it's been on the it's been out for a bit but it's going to be new to us and it is the um chalky paint from plaid yeah. and so i use because you know somebody made a suggestion when i was talking about my love-hate relationship with white paint um somebody made the suggestion that we use chalk paint or like white gesso um and so i thought i would try it on this one so that's what i base coated with um i really like it went on super fast it's got like kind of like because it's that chalky paint it's got kind of like a grit texture to it I love the feeling. yeah I, and which i don't typically like because i think i told you guys about my sandpaper issue um but yeah so it's 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 good i i like the way it went on it went on really nice really quick so that's what I base coated with. I have my stencil um, taped down and I'm gonna get started. We're using Deco Art acrylic paints today for this one. This color that I pulled out is possibly a retired color, Lindsay. I think it is. Um, and it's the sweet mint, but I love this teal color. So I wanted to definitely use this one cause I'm doing like springy, um, springy vibes. So this is definitely the one that I wanted to use. So I'm just going to put some of this on my fancy dancy palette, which is also my Costco paper plate. Sam's Club. <laughs> Sam's Club. Sorry. Costco, Sam's Club. It just depends on where it comes from this week. <laughs> we shop them all here at Cupboard Distributing. It, it should be noted if we use discontinued paper for yes. our paint, it yes. should be noted that we have this huge paint cabinet yes, we in do. the store. Um, and it's all this class paint. Yeah, it's old class I'm paint. Teaching, and we don't like to waste here at Cover no. Distributing, so we just use what we, we use have. what we have. Yeah, I don't so, get bottles of paint off the shelf when the we're only doing ones any we of this. Do are white and black. White right? and black are the only ones, yeah, because we use a ton of those. Um, and then like I did get a set of the new colors, which we are going to use one of the new colors today, guys. Um, but and we'll sing for you. Yeah, we know. will. We'll sing our little jingle for you. Okay, so I'm again gonna start out using Chris's number four spectacular stencil brush. I chose this one because I've got a variety of different dots. I'm gonna start with the dots on the outside, and my my plan is to do like one color and then a color and then a color and make it kind of like a rainbow ish, like a like a springy rainbow ish color. So that's kind of what my thought processes. We'll see if it works out. But anyways, I'm using Chris's number four st spectacular stencil brush. We've talked about these every week. I don't think I need to talk about them too much. However, if you have questions about them, please let us know. We are happy to answer any questions you guys might have about the brushes. 
Linda O'Connell just joined us. Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining. She says, hello, my sweet friends. I love watching you play. Oh, thanks, Linda. We're having fun playing. I, I'm not going to lie. I get a little stressed out when um, I have to paint on camera. I mean, I don't mind painting in the office when we're, like, I'm working on, like, samples and stuff like that. I get a little stressed out painting on camera. I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough stuff to talk about. That's why we end up starting to talk about, like, random stuff. I think it's cool. They get to know us. Yeah, you get to know a little bit more about Lindsay and I this way. voices on the phone. Yeah. 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 So. You get to see my face, but you don't really get to see Lindsay's too much. I don't like to show my face. She doesn't. She hides. No, 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 no. She hides, she hides, she hides. Okay, hold on a minute. I need to think this out. So this one, this one, this one, then this one. She did number then the tops this of the one. bottles. I do. Too. I just want to make sure I don't go too far. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Linda that says, one, that one. You do great in so PS, you one. never have a lack of words. You're right, Linda. I, I usually don't, but I think it's just something about the camera that I'm like, oh, wait, what if I don't say this right? Okay. Okay, so I'm good. So I'm going to keep going here. I just want to make sure I don't go too far with my teal here because I'm going to do a different color next. All so right. Rick and or Debbie McCarthy is joining us for the first time today. So welcome. Oh, thank you for joining us. I hope you like what you see. I hope you like the projects that we picked. So thank you for stopping in and checking us out. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. If you're coming in, please tell us where you're yes. from. Yes. We love to see we where everyone's from. We love to see where you're from. And we like to know if you're a new viewer or a repeat viewer. Like, it makes me happy to see the people that come back. I am I never know. Am I like... Here, did we have someone from Argentina? Was it Argentina? Last week. Yeah, yes. Really Argentina. Last yeah. Week. I know. When, I love it when somebody jumps on and they're from like further away. It makes me feel Georgia better. from Cleveland. Georgia. Thank you for jumping Cleveland on. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Yes, it yes. does. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in Cleveland. That's where Drew Carey's from. I know you guys all know who Drew Carey is. LeBron James, if you're a basketball fan. Run, run. Run, run. All right. So this is Wait, going to be. Yes. Sandy from Marysville? Marysville? Wait. Sandy. What's Sandy? Who? Sandy, Sandy who are you? Did Jarnette, if I butchered that, do we know her? I don't know if we know her or not. Marysville, Ohio? Yeah, Marysville, Ohio. You're my neighbor, sister, if you are. All right. Malena from San Jose. San Jose, California. Rick and Debbie McCarthy are from Wisconsin. Wisconsin, okay. Thank you for joining us, guys. Donna from New Hampshire. Donna, okay. Linda from Michigan. Oh, my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. Look at all the people that are here this week. I'm so excited. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Okay, so um, we've talked about this every week. Again, did you see how I just kind of got some water, put it on my brush, cleaned out that color, and you just get that until there's no more of that green on there? Because I'm ready to move on to my next color, and I hope I made a good choice with this purple. This one is going to be lavender. I'm hoping it shows up well, because I just never know. Yes? Um, you well, gave me like a shocky face. You might know her from the salon. She's a receptionist. <gasps> Sandy, no way! <laughs> no, I was just there this week. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Don't tell the girls that you watched me, okay? <laughs> Her hair looks wonderful, by the way. That's hilarious. Hi, Sandy. So I go to this awesome salon in Marysville called Salon 122, and the ladies there are so amazing. I've been going to Kim. She's been cutting my hair for probably 18 years, like cutting and coloring my hair for probably 18 years. I used to have like super long, straight hair, like down to my booty. And I went in one day and I was like, listen, guys, I'm done. I need this stuff off of here. So that was, your big girl that was my big girl haircut. Yeah, I kind of look like like an Amish person before because I had like no bangs and that and long stringy very hair. Long. Your very hair young. Your butt. It was very, yes, it was very long. Yeah. So I definitely um, have been, had this big girl, well, I called it a big girl haircut because it was short and I had to fix it every day. Um, but yeah, so I went there and like, so Kim has been cutting my hair for a hundred years. And Sandy, I can't believe that you're watching. That's hilarious. Uh, we have Yvonne. Yvonne, okay. Um, Saskatchewan, Canada. I had to pause because I always have to think. Yes, about think about how to say it. Hi, thank you for joining us from Canada. All right, I love it. Okay. That's so funny that she's watching. That's hilarious. Know. Yes, that's hilarious. I was like, Mary's a hold on. Do I know you? <laughs> So um, I don't, we are actually, our store is located in Urbana, Ohio. I actually live in Milford Center, which is about 20, 25 minutes from here. So I drive that to work. And um, Sandy lives in Marysville, which is about 10 more minutes away. So that's awesome. That's hilarious. Okay. So I've got my oh, lavender wow. paint here. 
Um, I'm assuming Debbie says, I just donated 19 inches. I do this every other year since I've been 18. Man, her for locks grows. of love? Do you do it for locks her of love? Grows fast. Yes. She does that every other year. Every wow. other year. No kidding. Yes, I love. Did I do too That's fast? Awesome. Hold on. I didn't go too far. No, okay. No. I'm good. Woo. <laughs> See you guys, I see I told you I get talking and I forget what I'm doing. Um, that's awesome. Good for you for donating your hair. I always did that as well. It's so nice when you can cut that off too and help somebody that needs something. 19 inches. Wow. 19 inches is a lot of hair. A lot of hair. It took me when, when I don't even remember when yeah, I Yeah, you did that a few years ago. Really yeah, short. it was really short. It looked cute on you too. I didn't like it short. I know. Because you can't pull back. Lindsay wears her hair back every single day. She comes sometimes with it down, but then by should we start work at seven? By eight. By it's eight, up. it's up. But actually, let's be honest, Lindsay. By seven thirty, it's up. Yeah, seven. Well, seven twenty. Yeah. So yeah. So anyways, Lindsay layers her hair up almost every single day. I try to wear my hair down if I can. Sometimes it just gets on my nerves because it's you know longer and oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, so it that's good. It, it, it's okay. I was worried about the purple. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to another color. I'm gonna get this purple off my brush here. I'm just scrubbing it in the bottom of my brush basin. Um, by the way, guys, I was painting before I came in here today on a new door hanger. And can anybody tell me what these colors remind you of? Tell me if you can guess what it is, because we didn't put it on yet. Somebody tell me what that is. Do you know what colors that would be? Something fun. Something springy. Summary. Right. Summary. Yes. Yeah. So, so definitely summary. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be one of the new colors oh. from Deco Art. Mm -hmm. And this is Baby Duck. Baby duck do 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 do. Baby duck do 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 do. So if you watched Chris the other day when she was doing her video about the new paint colors, um, it was funny. She was talking about uh, how we we sing these songs and then they get stuck in her head when we're pulling paint. Um, it started with Purple Rain and has continued on. It seems like every season that they re or every time they release new colors, the songs just keep coming so we have sunny day from sesame street we sing that one um when we have to pull that one we sing the purple rain song by prince when we have to print pull purple rain and now it's baby duck is like the baby uh, the baby shark song but we say baby when duck. they had raspberry I used to say yeah raspberry, raspberry beret, beret. Yeah. yeah that's another prince one guys he had some good songs so definitely able to keep us entertained here at work linda says her daughter and granddaughter are both donating their hair Oh, that's so, I love that. So my, one of my mom's friends that, um, that she went to high school with or whatever, she, her daughter has alopecia. So I love that when people donate their hair for stuff like that, because cancer patients, like some of those kids that just need those wigs, it makes it look so much nicer. So thank you for doing that guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for donating your hair. If you can. And Linda also says that the colors remind her of sunflowers. You are right. I'm working on a sunflower door hanger. I've been painting it this morning, so we'll see how long it takes me to get finished. But I did start working on that today. We'll probably go online next week. Yeah, because, because I did a boo boo. So like, it's my job, guys. It is my job to make sure that there's a photo taken before I start printing or painting it. And guess what? I didn't do. I didn't take a photo of it before I started painting it. So, um, guess what? Yep, it'll have to wait now. Okay, because... so Sandy just added to her, her songs. What? Gray sky. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Oh, I love Put it. on a happy face. You're not wrong. I love it. So we'll start singing that one too on Linda Gray Sky. Linda says, do I win a prize? Well, I mean, we could totally send you a prize. Linda, which yeah. Linda are you? Linda Morgan. Linda Morgan, where are you yes. located? Yes. Send me an email. Yes, yeah, send an email and we will send you out something good. Probably something really cool. All right, so I'm getting that yellow off. This is going to be all right. I was worried about that purple, but I think it's going to be okay. This is what happens when you, like, think in your brain how something is going to work out, and you're not exactly sure that it's going to work out. Yeah, this is my fault because I threw this one at her. Yeah, she, Lindsay this picked this one, and she was like, you can do this, and I was like, okay. All right, so this is going to be foliage green. Going into another color here. My plan was supposed to be pink next originally but then Linda and I were I was discussing it again this morning because that's just me I gotta have a good plan when I come in so I know what the heck I'm doing and why I numbered my paint models but anyways um yeah so I told Linda I was like oh I can't put green next to teal that'll look weird so we switched the green and the pink so it'll be okay 
This is going to be good, though. I think we need to give a door hanger for the office door so we can hang this on the door. Yeah, we do. We need to get, like, a little hook. Yeah. Do you oh. guys have door hangers at your house? Do you guys put door hangers up? Oh, what, what, what? Hi, Jen and Lindsay from Benwood, West Virginia. Guess who that would be? Is that my sister? That's your sister. Hi, Kimberly. Yeah, is my sister joining us? Hi, Kim. Um, you're supposed to be at work. What are you doing on Facebook? Um, but anyways, yeah, so we're working on this guy. I want to know if you have a door hanger up on your door right now. What is it? I'm curious. I want to know. I do. What's yours? Adults. I'm sure it's pets. I'm no, sure of it. you're wrong. Really? Seriously? It's wrong. Okay, what is it? It's, um, you know, uh, Chris's, uh, star, the big star. Yeah. I have the old one, the original. Yeah. I bought it off when she Oh, when she did the samples? It's on my door, because it's, it's patriotic. We're going into Memorial yeah. next. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. My patriotic next year. Okay, garage. good. Oh, speaking of Chris's samples, I'm pushing her really hard next week, guys, to get rid of some samples in the store. So if you're a customer of ours and you go to cdwood.com, make sure you're checking out the samples section because I'm going to be pushing her really hard to get some new samples in that section because we are out of space in the store and we definitely need to get um, get get rid of some. So I'm going to push her really hard to give me some of those that I can put on for you guys. Kim said, shh. I won't tell a soul, Kimberly. I will not tell a soul. So Kim's my older sister. I'm a, from a family of four kids. And Kim is my older sister. And I have two younger brothers, Charlie and Chad. Um, Debbie says she does leaners on her porch. I do leaners, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the welcome home or whatever. or mine's Welcome. An, mine's an Ohio State leaner. This is home. You know what my favorite one is? The ones that say go away. I just think oh, they're okay. hilarious. I think, does anybody have that? I think those are hilarious. Okay. I need to find one of those. I'm, I'm telling, we can make one, Lindsay. We should. We can totally make yeah. one. Um, but anyways, I love those ones. I think they're fun. Okay. Again, cleaning out that same brush, guys. I'm not changing my stencil brush. Do you see this? Just getting that green off of there. Making sure there's no more coming off on my paper towel. And now I'm going to move into my pink color, which is cotton candy. Pink is my absolute favorite color. I would do everything in pink if I could because I, I love it. Lindsay hates pink. It's not her favorite color at all. Her favorite color is teal. So everything Lindsay owns slash does, even her little um, lunchbox thing is teal. Everything. Everything she has is teal. She loves teal. Okay, moving on to cotton candy. So I'm just going to circle around here. Uh oh, I got a little bit so of green. So your on sister there. just kind of put in a pseudo request. What, Kim? She needs a trap door hanger. Oh, we can make that happen. We'll look. Kim. We'll find one, Kim. I'm assuming you're going to want me to paint it too. She probably is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does anybody have any questions, Lindsay? Not yet, no. Okay, guys, ask those questions if you have them. We have been super busy here this week. We have Drake out. He's on vacation this week. So he and Ashley, his wife, took a mini vacation to Hocking Hills. So if you're familiar with Ohio at all, um, she went. To, they went to Hocking Hills. So they were there this week. They stayed in a yurt. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it, it was really called cool. a yurt, but it was a yurt. Yeah, it, it was really cool looking, too. He showed us some pictures of it. She, his wife posted some pictures on Facebook last week. So it was really cool. They had a good time. He needed a break from work like all of us. Yeah. And I leave next week. Yeah, and Lindsay's out next week. Not to rub it in or anything. Not till Friday, though. So we'll be back Thursday yeah. with another painting video. But, um, yeah, definitely she will be back. Or she's going on her trip. So then we'll be off the following week. We'll be here next week. But then we'll be off the following week while Lindsay's out sun in her cheeks. <gasps> <gasps> this is cute. Kim said okay. yay and yes. I figured so. so. Okay, we'll work on it, Kim. Um, so I'm going to have to hit a couple of these spots another time. Um, some of my paint is, I think, cause it's, I don't know if it's cause of it being on the chalky Lindsay. Would that have anything to do with it? Like it just seem doesn't seem like it's like colored all it the might way. Be absorbing it yeah. It might more. be absorbing it more because of it being chalky. Oh. Let me see. What? Linda said, oh no, you know, I don't like it when you're on vacation. I know Linda, it'll be me, honey. You can just call me, call and ask for me. It'll be fine. I'm going to be answering the phone. You don't have to ask for anybody. It'll be me. You're getting me like next week. So if you're late on something and need something now, get it in. If you need Lindsay for something. Um, Sandy says, looks adorable. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are so sweet Susan to me. Susan says, you need some to come out with one that says something about if you show up during nap time, something's hitting the fan. <gasps> that's a good oh, one. Oh, that's a good one. Write that down, Lou. Yeah. You got your paper over here? Write, no, that, write that. that. You'll remember It'll that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. It'll be in the chat. Okay. Rosie says, love the colors. Thank I you, Rosie. Them. I I really questioned it. I'm telling you guys. I told you guys I'm, I'm not really a big color girl, but... 
She's I'm, not. I'm coming around to it. I'm coming around. I've been working on you. Yeah, she had Lindsay has. She's like, do color. So Lindsay, when we were first talking about this, I was like, I don't know what colors I'm going to use. How am I going to do this and make it like, because in my brain, this is what I saw, like uh, different colors going around it. And I was like, how am I going to make it? Like, how am I going to work this out? So then there was some math involved, like how many colors can I use with how many circles and all that good stuff. So um, Lindsay's like, I would just do all the big ones, one color, and then do two different colors for the small ones. I was like, well, that's a good idea. That's just not what I'm seeing in my head. So I had to keep going, but I worked it out, did a little bit of figure in here, and we were able to make this work. Uh, Kim says she likes it too. Thanks, Cam. Uh, Debbie says, I like to swirl and do two light coats when stenciling. Okay, yeah. I Debbie, I we had this discussion last time about the swirling. I am not a swirler. I Lindsay and I both came from the paper crafting world. And so swirling to me, we did ink when we were stenciling. And so swirling to me meant that I was getting ink underneath of my images and stuff. And I did not like that. I didn't want that happening. So I think it's just habit for me at this point by um, pouncing. But definitely swirling would be great. All right. That looks good. A little bit more of this baby duck. Do, 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 baby duck. Do, 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 do. You guys are going to be singing it, aren't you? You're going to be singing You're the welcome. baby duck song. You are welcome. I think, I think Chris is never going to forget. No, us she's that. not. She's Because no. she still does it. Yeah. I was talking about something in the office with this color. I did that door hanger with the um, paintbrushes. And as soon as I, she said, oh, what color is that? I was like, oh, that was baby duck. And she goes, <laughs> so she started singing it. It was hilarious. All right. And then Debbie says offloading is the key to stenciling. She's uh, right. 100%. Yeah. 100%. I agree with you 100% on that one. If you're just coming in, I'm seeing a lot of people coming in. Yeah. Please, please, please tell us uh, where you're coming. I'm laughing because someone said, no, I hate that song. Baby Duck? Oh, you're the right. The Baby Shark. The Baby Shark. Yeah, but you're not. It's not Baby Shark anymore. It's, it's not Baby, baby Duck. duck so just remember that you're, you're going to like it a lot better now. Because that color is so pretty. It is a pretty color. All right. Linda says, that's my favorite color, all about ducks. Linda is all Linda about ducks. Linda is all about ducks. Oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you got our newsletter this week, but Linda O'Connell items are on sale. So if you're doing any of her ducks, which we pulled a million and a hundred of them. Um, but anyways, her ducks are on sale. Any of Linda's e-patterns are on sale. All of the pieces that she has um, that we cut for her are on sale this week. So go get some because they're awesome. Her firecracker... Um, Cutout piece and the land that I love pattern, that is one of my favorites. That's on sale. The Oxal, Ox, how do you say that? Ox, Oxalis. Oxalis. That um, floral thing, the shamrock thing is definitely on sale. Thanks, Lindsay. She could tell I need more paper uh, towels. Tammy, Tammy's in here. Tammy, I'm ready. Yeah. She says, someone give Jen the new paper towel. Oh, that one's giving me anxiety. <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay's on it. Trust me. <laughs> you should see me when I'm at my desk. Seriously, I'm a total disaster. I have a she, big piece of paper on my desk because I am a messy, messy girl. She does not throw away paper towels. No. But I do. Yeah. And, like, I am I go through so many paper towels, so many pieces of yes, tape. Yes, so. she does, yeah. Lori just came in from Tennessee. Hi, Lori. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I'm super excited to have you guys all here today. Super excited. Was everybody's Easter good? We had honey baked turkey breast or honey, like, you know, the honey baked ham, but we do the turkey breast and it was amazing. I bought two because my boys love it. So we had leftovers a couple of days. It was awesome. So we did that. Lindsay had a great Easter. We just had sandwiches, which is low key. Yeah, yeah low key, fun. but it was games. good. Okay. Suzanne's here from Northern Idaho. Hi, Suzanne. Thank you for joining us. That's where the podcast people are from. They are. That's right. Murder with my husband. Yeah. We're with it. All right. Okay. So now we have to make a decision. I originally was going to go with black for my Hello Spring. Maybe we should take a vote. Yes. We should take a vote, Lindsay. We totally should. Okay, tell us what color you would do if you were going to do the Hello in the Spring. And I'm cool if you want Hello one color and Spring mm -hmm. another color. I'm cool with that, too. Rosie so, says they had a very quiet Easter. That, hey, my, my Easter Don't was quiet, too. That. Me and my husband and um, our two boys went golfing. It was awesome. Um, it was beautiful. We went around 3 o'clock. We got 18 holes in. It was really nice. So it was great. All right, do we have any suggestions on my Hello and my Spring, Lindsay? Uh, Debbie says dark gray. Dark gray. What okay. What does everyone think? Let us yeah. know what color. Let us know what you think. We've got some options here. So let me know. Linda says burgundy. Bur oh, I don't. 
I have a red, but I don't have a burgundy over here. I have Santa red. No, no that's too bright. I don't have that. Sandy color. says, "Got run, girls. Love how this is coming along." Great Thanks, color. Sandy. Maybe an ombre on the letters. Oh, she, she doesn't know me. Remember, Sandy, this is semi-pro, sister. Semi-pro. Um, Linda Morgan says bright blue. Sharon says charcoal. So, oh, so dark. Gray so two grays. Blue. Okay, I've got zinc. Will that work? Zinc should work. Zinc should work. That's dark gray, right? Okay, we're going with the dark gray. So your homework is ombre. Ombre. <laughs> <laughs> Spring umbrella colors. Oh, that would be gray. That would be gray. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because this could be the stick from the umbrella. Your sister said black or gray. Black or gray. See, she's my girl. She's that farmhouse kind of thing like me. Suzanne said spring foliage green. Hello, aqua. This is foliage oh, green. Spring foliage green. Okay. Hello, aqua blue. Spring foliage green. So this. And then. And this. That. Will those two be okay together, you think? I don't know. It looks like uh, it looks like though dark gray would be pretty. A lot of people are saying dark gray. Well, let's go with the dark gray oh. this time. Oh, what what we got? Sandy says one color on the letters and then add a touch of white to the brush and then redo the top of the letters. Okay, we will remember that. Sandy. I will try that the next time, Sandy. I promise. I'll practice on my desk this week and then um I will try that next time. Not I promise. On your desk. Not on my desk, but at my desk. <laughs> Did I say on my desk? <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going with zinc. Um, for this one, I'm going to the number three stencil brush. Thank you guys for the suggestions. I appreciate it. Sandy left. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I will desk. practice on my desk. Okay, so I went to the number three stencil brush. So I'm just going to work here. I did that one because I'll have a little bit more control, not as much space here. So went with that brush here. I love that you guys can help me decide on coloring and I stuff. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely like that. That might mean we might need to bring a little more paint over Yeah, there. we're going to have to bring some. I, no, so here's what we do. Since we have all of that paint over in the other room, um, I just choose my colors from that paint. But then when we're done with whatever project that is, we leave over here. So we're not carrying the same colors back and forth all the time. Um, so all of these colors, probably with the exception of Baby Duck, because I'm still working with it for today. But um, all of those ones are going to go, they'll, they'll stay in this room. So we'll have more options um, when we decide to do this the next time. We'll bring some more paint over. Okay. Your sister says, love it. Great choice. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, She's probably dying calling. that I'm calling her Kimberly. Yeah, she hates him. She hates being called Kimberly. She goes by Kim. She has since we were little. Um, she hates it, but I, I still know would. when I refer to her, I call her Kim. You call her Kim. Yeah. Everybody calls her Kim. I only call her. I don't know why I'm calling her Kimberly today because I usually do call her Kim. All right, so here we go. Finishing up here. I'm gonna try and tell you that this is maybe one of my favorite pieces that we've done. I know. I can't believe I just said that because of all the colors. Lindsay picked this one. This is a fun one, guys. So I do really like this piece. It's a fun one. It was pretty simple to do too. So let me just tell you, you don't have to do the math. I did it for you. Five colors will give you all the way around any even numbers. <laughs> you should have seen her figure in this out. You though. should. I was. I was like, she this was can't like, be this doing hard. Math and like, it's yeah. not this hard, Jen. Holy crap, get it together. All right. So we're working on this. We'll look for a track door hanger. Um, I will work on ombre the next time. Um, and then we will look for that um, stencil that somebody suggested too. Yes. Kimberly was only used when mom meant business. Or she called you Jennifer because she got us confused because that happens a lot. Or Karen, which is my aunt, and she used to call my sister Karen all the time. <laughs> Sandy said you could also do this color. Let it dry and then lift and shift the stencil to the right. Tape in place. Add a touch of white and repound the letters. Does Automatic she know who I am? I'm asking for a friend. Automatic shadow back to work. Sandy, I love your suggestions. Remember, I'm semi-pro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I feel like I am definitely getting better at my stenciling. You guys are pushing me out of the box. We did that little bit of shading last week on those carrots. So that definitely was out of my box and out of my comfort zone. So I did do that. Well, I'm working, guys. I'm trying to get a little bit more like. She has faith in you. I thank you, Sandy. I definitely am She's trying child. to do better. Um, we'll see you next time, Sandy. Thanks for coming in. Um, I'm trying to do better about like making some of these projects a little more like what you guys would do, like your designs and stuff like that, stuff that you would want to do um, instead of just like simple, easy, 
quick and easy. I mean, we want them to be quick and easy, but we also want them to have that next level to them. So we are definitely working on that. Lindsay and I have been trying to come up with ways to that we can handle doing some of this painting. So, and, and if you're into the more advanced painting, Chris does go live every other Tuesday. Yes. So this coming Tuesday, she will be live. Yeah. And one. she's doing something cool Eastern. this week, which um, I don't, do you know what she's doing this week? Lindsay? Let me think. Is it clouds? Is it I, I don't know that or, or is it the um palette knives i can't remember what she said i can't remember i can't remember what yeah, she said she's doing be, something cool some technique yeah. or something on, on tuesday her lives, she usually does techniques um if you need any technique help yeah. let us know because we have a long list of stuff that, she's that you guys want to see and she's going to work on those so you guys and which i'm loving because guys i'm watching them too i'm sitting in the office working on stuff and I have my phone propped up in front of my monitor and I'm watching them too. And I'm learning a lot from Chris's technique videos too. So if there's a technique you guys want to see, we're happy to pass that along to her when she comes in on Monday and let her know what's happening here. So please share that stuff with us if you want to see it. All right. Almost done with these words. I do like the gray. I think the gray is going to be pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be real pretty. I think it's a better choice than black. Uh-huh. I do too, LMG. I do too. So thanks. Whoever suggested that one, thank you for having my back on that one because it was going to be black. And I was like, oh, gosh. with all those bright colors, I was thinking, I don't know. And I would, my brain wouldn't have thought of gray. So thank you for whoever suggested that. All right. Have you guys been to our website lately? Did you see Chris's new design that I put on there yesterday, which is the Fresh Strawberries Market Booth? It's really cute, guys. It's teal and pink and strawberries and white. And it's got these, it's got a stencil with these fun strawberries on it. It's all the lettering's done on a stencil. It's really cool. So if you haven't gone and done that, check that out. There is going to be a painting um, YouTube video from Chris about that one on our website next it, Tuesday. Not 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 this Tuesday, Tuesday, a week from week Tuesday. Gone, yeah. yeah, the week Lindsay's gone. Um, so that's gonna be on our YouTube channel. So if you like Chris's painting videos and like that's um, the YouTube tip stuff, then you're going to want to definitely check that out um, next in two weeks on Tuesday. Sandy says, wish I could paint like Chris. She has so many cute things. You're not wrong. I agree with you 100%. I am the exact same way. I really wish that I could paint like her too. I do. I'm trying to get out of that comfort zone of that, like, you can't do it. I've gotten to the mindset now where I'm like, just try it. And if it doesn't work out, guess what? You you work in a whole place that has a ton of wood. Just go get another piece and try again, you know? So I think that's a big part of it is, like, getting past that, like, I can't attitude. I'm Lindsay and I are both kind of working on that. So, and I'm all about trying new stuff, guys. You told me about the chalky paint. I tried it on this one. We're going to see how it turns out. Um, I stenciled with a chalky paint yesterday. Lindsay did because we're testing it to see if we like it, if it's something that we, you know, it's going to work for us and for our customers. So um, we're definitely trying trying new techniques and new items and new products to see how they're going to work for us. So we appreciate that. Nobody has any questions right now? No. Gosh, you guys are so they're quiet. Just enjoying you. You're just enjoying, I'm going to move to a bigger brush. I think I'm not making very much progress on this. Okay, I'll just talk about some it's random such a pretty stuff. Paper plate palette. Isn't that a pretty palette? I just got a ton of stuff going on here. I got all the colors of the world, it seems like, on here. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to start talking about some random stuff. Kim, and, yes. Kim said, could you use a bigger brush to cover more of an area, or is that not recommended? You can, Kim, and here I am working on a bigger brush now. Um, so we have this brush in a I went with the number three because I was working on these smaller letters um, and I'm not really good when it comes to like getting close to other stuff. If you saw me earlier, I got green in my pink earlier. Thank the Lord it covered it when I went by. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can definitely use a bigger brush cam. I just was a little slow to the party on that one. This, uh, the stencil brush comes in four sizes. Yes, it does. Um, we tend to use the four and the five the most. Yes. The six, the six is nice. The six big. is big. It's good for big open stenciling areas. Yeah. Um, Chris also has used it for base coating. It's a wonderful base coating brush. Um, it's about seven eighths in diameter, the, the, the number six is, so it's a good size brush. Yes, it is for sure. Um, but, and then the number three is tiny. As yes, it's, that's, yeah, that's the one I was using yeah. earlier. 
All right, we're just gonna hit a couple of these letters a few more times and just to make sure we got a good coat and then we are gonna be finishing off. So this is what this project is next week. We are working on, um, it's really cool. We got some new background stencils and we're not gonna do an actual project next week, but we're gonna, um, I'm gonna stencil a little bit of all of the new background stencils um, just so you can kind of see what they look like when they come out. I am very visual. I think I've told you guys this before. Um, so for me, I need to kind of see, it's hard for me to like look at the stencil and see what it's going to actually turn into on the, at the ending result. So we're going to just pull some of those up and um, just talk about each one. It's really a cool set of stencils. Lindsay um, came up with these and they're really, really cool. So that's what we're going to be working on next week. So if you want to see our new background stencils, that's what we're going to be doing the next Thursday. And we actually do have a special bundle of those. We do. Yes. You save. How much it's a save? lot. It's $20 a lot. Dollars yeah. You buy them as a bundle. As you as buy, yeah. To buying them individually. So. Yeah, and they're all great. I like all of them are great stencils. So make sure that you you join us next Thursday for that. So we can talk about those. Your sister has a question. Yes, my sister. What would you like to know? Silly question. New what? to the game. No, can sorry. you use a sponge? You can if you want. A lot of people use makeup sponges, Kim. Um, I personally like the brush just because the bristles on it are like they kind of spread at the bottom. And if you're using a sponge, it's going to be like a compressed part. But when you do the stenciling with the brush, this kind of spreads out a little bit and you get a little bit better coverage. You could totally stencil with a um, sponge if you want to, though. And people do use the sponge the sponge spouncer they which do is like a sponge yeah on, on end the of end handle. yep so people do use those and then also people use dry brushes too mm -hmm. um so if you are um not really wanting to get into stenciling right away and you already have dry brushes at home oh look how good that looks i got a little bit of runnage here and i think that's where i swirled so i'm just gonna i'll clean that up when i get to the office but this is what it looks like guys it turned out really cute. It, cute, it yes. turned out really cute. So you guys know me and my white gel pen and how much I love it. So I'm just going to um, quickly take this. That's gonna while that dries there, I'm just gonna do a little bit of detailing to um, these bigger circles. I think is all that's really gonna need it just to kind of pull it through. Sandy asks, will your shop ever be ever open back up to the public? Sandy, we never say never. However, um, a lot of people know this and you may not. So I'm just going to let you know that John, Chris's husband has CLL, so a form of leukemia. And because of that, he's super high risk um, of getting sick. So that's why we have the store closed. Um, we do every once in a blue moon have the store open for people to come and shop but it's for like a private group um but yeah technically it's not going to be open on an everyday basis anytime in the foreseeable future no. okay and when it is open he's not here yeah he place. doesn't come yeah. um because we got to keep him safe and all that jazz but yeah so that is a great question Okay. It's so cute. I love how it turned out. I really do. I was questioning the bright colors, guys. It's just not who I am, but I love it. We're hanging this on the office door. Yes, we 100% are, Lindsay. This is a good one. This is a really good one. All right. I'm Your sister it. says super cute. Thank you, Kim. Um, yeah. And this is very cute. Sandy says cute. Great job. Thank you. Deborah Cole says very pretty. Thank Tammy you. says clap, clap, clap. So cute. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is the um, Hello Spring Dot Stencil. If you're interested in picking this up, you can grab it at Cover Distributing, cdwood.com, or you can go to cdstencils.com and grab it. If you've not shopped on our CD Stencil site, we always have a 20% um, off coupon that pops up if you're a first-time customer. If you're a returning customer, we have that coupon code at the bottom of your invoice. It's always highlighted um, at the bottom and that will give you um, additional 15% off a $50 order. So just keep that in mind. We always have, um, or I shouldn't say we always have, we try to do good deals. We have a sale every Friday at the Cover Distributing website. And the CD, and the CD Stencils. It's a, it's a different, different sale. So check both out, guys, because there's some really cute stuff on both sites. Um, yes. Linda says so lovely. Think um, Sandy says the little bit of white just makes it pop. I think so too. Thank you. Um, Donna says, are you using the gel pen for touch up? 
No, I use the gel pen. Let me see. Okay, I have issues when I, because the camera doesn't like to zoom well when I hold things up. So I just like to add like a little bit of pen detailing. So I'll do like a quick little line and then a couple little polka dots there. Can you see that? Is the camera picking that up? I just like to do that for a little bit of, it gives it just a smidge of dimension it's, and a little bit of texture. So it doesn't look so flat. It's a scrapbooking trip. It is a scrapbooking trip. Um, I've done it on some of the door hangers that we painted. I've used this white gel pen. This is our Uniball white gel pen. And I've used this to just do like a, like three little dots in a row, kind of like stars in the sky. Cause I don't have a steady hand. So it's very hard for me to do like stars and that kind of stuff, but that just kind of gives it like a little bit of detailing. And I don't know about you, but I've tried doing this with a brush and I can't do it. I can't do it. Now you painters definitely could hold, totally do that with a brush. I cannot, I'm more confident with a pen. I stick to this. This is my, I use this on absolutely every and, project. And Chris does use this white gel yeah. pen. So Chris does too. Is, yeah. Yeah. It, you just have to be careful when you're sealing. Yes. Just light coats of spray. Yes. Um, not brush on, but um, it is a great gel pen. And we do, we've done it with black too. Yes. Uh, yes. Micron. Uh, the Micron, yeah. I use it. If I'm doing something white, like if I have white lettering and I want to do a little bit of detail, then I'll use um, a Micron gel pen and or a micron pen and they're archival you don't have to worry about anything like with it bleeding or anything like that so um yeah you can totally use that as well it's they're perfect to just add a little bit of texture and depth to your piece it's super simple to do and very like cost effective this is like three dollars or something 369 something like that and it lasts forever if you get one of these and you have it and you feel like it's you're having issues with it store it upside down um i keep mine with the ink to the tip always it like just hangs in my little brush bin here um make sure that you do that store it upside down so that way you have it um ready to go at all times because if not you kind of got to get it going on a piece of paper but other than that yeah it'll work right away and they are available on both websites. Yes, they're available on both websites. So you can grab them either at Cover Distributing or at cdwood.com. It's called the Uniball. Yep. Uniball White Gel Pen is what it's called. It's a great tool. Um, Chris uses it. I use it. Lindsay uses it. We all use it when we're working on projects. So it's definitely a good one. All right, Lindsay, you want to switch the camera? Sure. Sandy says see you at the salon. Thank you, Sandy. I'll see you in six weeks. <laughs> Kim says, what do you use to seal the circle for outdoor use? So because it's like this piece, Kim itself is MDF. So um, we would suggest sealing it with like a um, matte spray sealer or a, depending on the look that you want. Chris uses matte. You can use gloss. There's ultra matte. There's all different kinds that you can do. There's spray sealer. There's brush on sealer. It's whatever you're more comfortable for with. Outdoor. Yeah, for outdoor. Just make sure it's outdoor use. Yeah, just make sure you have one that says outdoor. Um, but yeah, it's there. It's perfect. So you can just spray it on there. You have, I know, have a glass door. So yours would be fine in the weather. You wouldn't really have to worry about yeah. too much. And MDF, you can put it outside. Yeah. You just need to seal it really good. But it, it is... It is a composite wood. It's so, not something you can leave out 365 wood, years or yeah. days a year. However, you can leave it out for several months, bring it in, yeah. reseal. Just keep resealing it and yeah. you'll be fine. I have a P I have an MDF sign yeah. that I've had for like four years and it's still holding up just fine. Yeah. If you and, have a covered porch and it's not getting like poured on at all day long, like for days on end, you're going to be fine. If you yeah. have something that's not covered, bring it in when it's raining that, you know, you're going to have some issue with humidity and stuff, but not well, like, not bad. Do the same thing. Yes. So any kind of wood's going to do the same thing. So yeah. yeah, but just definitely seal it before you do anything. That will also prevent scratching. So if you don't want to get like scratches and stuff on it, so you're definitely going to want to seal it with something at the end. Okay. Anybody have any other questions? All right. We will be back next week with another semi-pro stenciling video. We are going to be working on those new spring background um, stencil, is that what they're called? Lindsay spring background or something? Spring background. Yeah. Spring 2024 background. Yeah. Stencils. So if you want to see what they are, hop over to the website, check them out. Um, if not, join me next week. Like I said, we're going to be working on that. Thank you for the suggestions on the gray guys. Thank you. you need to do that more I often. love it. Yeah, we definitely do. And I love the colors. Thank you for joining me guys. Join us next Thursday. Same time, same place. We'll be here. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.